is up, everybody? Devony here from Devony Interactive, the hippest mom on all of YouTube, bringing you some team deathmatch today on Carrier. Now, I'm still trying to teach myself how to snipe. I'm slowly getting better, so you please just cut me some slack. But anyway, I was somewhat proud of what I did. I went positive. So today I wanted to talk just a little bit about something that just came up to me at the weirdest time. <laughs> I was watching Forrest Gump the other day because I just love Forrest Gump. It has like the best soundtrack ever. So I just like turn it on in the background and I just listen to it and I'll look at it, but I kind of go back and forth and do other things because I like know every scene of Forrest Gump. And it just kind of dawned on me. I'm like, why does everybody like Forrest Gump? How is he so endearing to people? And it dawned on me personality. I mean, it's like, he's so endearing. He's like a flawed hero. And he has so much personality that even if like the people who didn't like Forrest Gump, they kind of have to respect like his personality. So I wanted to kind of bring that into like the YouTube scene, especially our little community and stuff. And I think it's personality. I think it's because the people who get like really big and really huge, it's because they have a personality. It might be a, I don't know, a more coarse of a flawed hero type personality. Not all personalities are endearing like Forrest Gump, but they have a personality, which made me think, okay, well, and I felt so bad because I no more thought about it and I wrote it down and said, I am going to do a commentary over this, that I saw a commentary from Mr. Felix Black and I'll put that video that I saw in the description down below. And he was talking about monotone commentators. And I was totally thinking about that. I was just like, you know what? I said, it's one of those things, like, if you have, like, a monotone personality, it's, you could still be kind of endearing. Because if the truth be told, Forrest Gump, he didn't have, like, a very, you know, rambunctious type dialogue going on. He was somewhat monotone, but he was so endearing when he was doing it that I was just like, but, okay, so here I am. I have this flawed hero who's somewhat kind of monotone, and he has a great personality. How did he become so endearing? How do these commentators in YouTube become so endearing? And the, I'm telling you, I think I, I'm going to call it the Forrest Gump philosophy. Because, like, in the movie, he sat there and he said that, you know, some people say that you have a destiny and then other people think that you're like floating around like a feather on the breeze. And I'm totally paraphrasing that. But I think the thing is, it's just like Forrest Gump says. It's a little bit of both. I think that you have to have personality. And it's, it's very important. So, you know, I think that the difference would be just because you have a script written out doesn't mean that you have to sound like you are reading from a script. Just because you don't have a script doesn't mean that you have to sit around and, you know, um, um, um. I think that's the difference. You have to have a little bit of both. So I don't know. I mean, that's just like my take on it. I I don't know. I mean, Mr. Felix Black said that he wanted to do a commentary over the exact same thing. And maybe he'll he'll do he'll still do a commentary over it. We kind of talked back and forth on Twitter for a little bit. But I really honestly think that to become like one of the greats of YouTube, you have to have a little bit of both when it comes to like the script personality versus the um I'm just so crazy personality and there's nothing ever scripted just whatever you think falls out of your mouth I think you have to have a little bit of both because otherwise what's the point you know what I'm saying I think that that is I don't know and it's just me 
thinking out loud, but I think that that's their formula for, for success, is that they've taken a little bit of both. And that dude totally just drop shot at me with a sniper rifle. But anyway, so um, I wanna get your interaction going down below in the comment section. What do you find the most, I don't know, dominant and or endearing quality about some of the, I guess you call YouTube greats. And it doesn't really necessarily have to be in the gaming community per se. I mean, you could you get those uh, Ray William Johnson down there and, and tell me what's so great about him. And, and it's still totally relevant. I think that, but I would like to get your take on how important personality is to you and it, does the personality need to be more than scripted does it need to be more i don't know free spirited i'd like to get your interaction going down there in the comment section down below so anyway this is going to be wrapping up really 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 soon and i'm sorry i mean i am getting better at sniping but i i'm not gonna lie i mean i'm i still suck so but i, I keep trying it so yeah I totally shot him in the back. It's all good, though. Anyway. <laughs> hey, 16 and 5. It wasn't too terribly bad. But anyway, if you liked the commentary, please interact down below in the comment section. If you liked it, please leave a like. Uh, also, down below, I'm going to have Mr. Felix Black's commentary down there. It's called No Monotone, so make sure you go over there and check it out. And thank you all for watching. Y'all have a great day. On the screen, you're going to see a link to my previous Black Ops 2 video. Can I get some tech support? So if you've not seen it, go over there, check it out. And as always, your support is appreciated.